And another court ruling, uh, this time in Mexico, has approved the recreational use of marijuana there. The Supreme Court there ruled in favor of a civil organization that demanded to be allowed to grow the crop for recreational use. Now, the case was first brought in 2013. The court set a precedent by voting four to one that prohibiting people from consuming the drug was un unconstitutional. Clayton Kahn now with, uh, this, uh, with the reactions now in Mexico. The historic Supreme Court ruling to decriminalize for one specific civil organization the recreational cultivation and consumption of marijuana is being considered a watershed moment for pro-legalization groups that say prohibition has taken a bloody toll in Mexico. I believe that after 150 dead, more than 26,000 disappeared, and more than 250,000 displaced, we are more than ready. We need to end this corruption, and the clandestine market strengthens corruption. Yet, these same groups applauding the decision warn that strong private and state interests will seek to make full legalization difficult. They point to a multi-billion dollar industry that they argue benefits from keeping more than 14,500 people behind bars due to the prohibition laws. There is a strong control of this prohibition because it benefits certain people. On the one hand, it benefits criminal groups, but on the other, security and justice institutions. Meanwhile, there are opponents to the Supreme Court ruling and its implications. For some, the recreational use of marijuana presents a danger to society and health. They argue that strong family values are key in maintaining social peace. There wouldn't be so much violence if people were more integrated with their families. Yet pro-legalization activists point to the systemic violence that prohibition provokes. They say opponents are misguided by social stigmas and that there are at least 5.7 million users of cannabis that consume responsibly. There are many stigmas around the people who use these substances and there is a notion that all the cases are negative or will result in problems. When that is the truth, out of the segment of society that consumes cannabis, the problematic cases represent a very small percentage. Mexico continues to maintain some of the most conservative drug prohibition policies in the Americas while a growing choir of the region's leaders are calling for change. Supporters of legalization point to the growing trend in the world that 30 countries, including the United States, are now regulating the recreational, scientific, medicinal, and industrial use of cannabis. Clayton Cantelasur, Mexico City.